Wait, where are we? We're doing a Minecraft video, not a Roblox video. I think you might be getting this confused with our brand new channel, Blocks World, which has just launched. And viewers can totally go and subscribe to it as soon as they're done watching this. But let's get back to recording. Minecraft is a game that's changed lives. But the world of Minecraft itself has gone through quite a few changes over the last 10 years, Sub. So we're gonna look back at 50 updates that changed Minecraft forever. So many items, blocks, mobs, and generations have been added since the initial alpha went public. We could be here all week listing them. So let's cover the biggest, craziest, most game-changing ones first. Number 1. Early in beta, the game changed dramatically when beds were introduced, where players had to survive every night before this. Now they could skip the entire thing, provided they were protected. Some argue this wasn't an improvement, but actually made the game much easier. However, I think it's safe to say they spare us a lot of annoyance and made the game more accessible to a wider audience. Number 2. Now this is a feature I know you couldn't live without, Sub. The addition of randomly spawning packs of wolves that could be tamed with bones ensured people all across the world would always have a pet and a best friend right by their side. Number three. One of the most important accidents in all of gaming history, when Notch coated the pig with incorrect proportions, creating a creeper-like entity that went on to become the iconic, menacing symbol of the game and player's worst nightmares. Number 4. Once spawner dungeons appeared in the game, one of the first ever updates, in fact, players were able to create mob grinders, allowing them to reproduce dropped items with a little bit of work. Number 5. Allowing us to travel the sea, land, and the caves. Remember, this was before Elytris. Minecarts also became a pinnacle of the game, with roller coasters and redstone tracks being built ever since. Number 6. One of the fundamental parts of Minecraft that makes it stand apart against all other survival games is redstone. The ability to lay this electric-like powder is incredible. Number 7. NPC villages. I don't think anyone will argue how important these things are. With villagers, farms, and a ready home to run to on your first night. Number 8. Minecraft has always had a few issues running properly on low-end computers, but when they added extra graphics options, it made it all so much easier. You want to know what else is super duper easy? Subscribing! You may just change Sub's world forever! Number 9 Players used to always fall off ledges until the crouching mechanic was added to ensure you don't slip and your name turns invisible. This has helped with many parkour courses and mini games. Number 10. Underground mine shafts. One of my personal least favorite generations, but this allowed for more varied cave exploration. Something rarely ever updated in Minecraft. Number 11. With new trees came new wood. Not only did this help define biomes more, but with each new addition, birch, acacia, and even spruce, players had far more options for their building palette. Number 12. After a long period of no mobs being added, Enderman stepped onto the scene with a bang. Their creepy noises and eye contact acro behavior was pretty much enough to scare everybody. Number 13. Most biomes in the overworld look pretty natural until this strange and bizarre place came along, allowing players to regularly source mushrooms and mycelium. Number 14. With the adventure update, hunger was added. Players could no longer simply heal hearts. They had to fill their hunger meter first. 
Number 15. Without full hunger, you couldn't sprint. But with this added feature, players saw maneuverability jump to the max. And this also enhanced combat. Number 16. The music in Minecraft is great, but with the addition of these blocks sub, players were able to create their very own musical pieces. How cool is that? Number 17. Carrot on a stick. I know what you're thinking, Sub. Truly a genius invention. No longer riding pigs aimlessly, but now with a purpose. Number 18. There was a time when only regular wool existed, until in one faithful update, every color of the rainbow was introduced, allowing for many incredible builds and pixel arts. Number 19. To explore in Minecraft, you used to have to mark your waypoints and find recognizable landmarks. But with maps, players can chart their own course, meaning this future was a huge way to change the play of the game. Number 20. Mobs are okay, but small, cute, adorable little mob babies are so much, much better. You can understand why this one's on the list. Number 21. The official release update. After years of development and one of the biggest beta phases in indie game history, the game finally launched with Notch pushing the big button. This was a monumental update for the game. Number 22. Spawn eggs. Placing mobs didn't used to be as easy, but with these items, any creature can be placed with ease. Except golems and bosses, of course. Number 23. While redstone was an incredible feature in and of itself, the repeater gets its own spot because it helped produce a whole new generation of redstone machines by allowing players to expand their pulses without the use of bugs or gimmicky tricks. Number 24. You have been watching Subs World, right? Then I don't need to explain to you just how essential pistons are to redstone machines, secret doorways, and all sorts of other farms and contraptions. Number 25. The Jungle Biome. One of the best biomes added to the game in my opinion. The thick trees were far different to anything seen before, with cocoa beans and ocelots. A huge update for sure. If you agree with this, or any of today's updates, make sure to like the video. Number 26. Enchanting and Experience Orbs A much needed revival for combat and tool use in game With many new effects that allowed for varied gameplay and play styles Number 27 The grasslands of Minecraft always did look a little bit flat And with only red and yellow flowers The flora wasn't all that great either Now on the other hand Well, it just speaks for itself Number 28. Villagers were great, but combined with more items and a use for emeralds, trading allowed for them to be much more useful in your survival worlds. Number 29. Anvils. Repairing items, naming items, and labeling name tags, as well as dropping them on your friend's head. Excellent feature if you ask me. Number 30. Sea Temples, a more majestic rival, a boss hidden in the sea. A perfect test for any player that fancies a venture into the depths. Number 31, Tipped Arrows. Providing more options for combat is always going to improve the game. But with Tipped Arrows, players can not only damage each other more, but apply other potion effects as well. Number 32, while most find it annoying, we can definitely say that the addition of rain changed Minecraft forever. Number 33. Golems. Whether throwing snowballs or launching zombies in the air to protect villagers, these unconventionally spawned mobs were a fun addition. Number 34. 
increased height limit. This only doubled the potential of what were already an incredible community of builders. Number 35. Totem of Undying. Never before had a player been allowed two lives. Well, unless you count respawning, but you get what I mean. Number 36. Woodland Mansion. A dangerous challenge for players daring enough to adventure outward, and a nice update to flesh out the Illager faction. Number 37. Taming Horses. Nice steed sub, armor and all. Horses changed up travel and even combat with their appearance. Number 38. Creative Mode. Not just surviving and building a world, but being able to spawn in and create anything whatsoever. Limitlessly. If you can't see the reason to add this to the list, you're no fan of Minecraft. Number 39. Adventure Mode. Unable to break blocks and only interact with certain others. You can now play adventure maps how they were meant to be played. Number 40. Swimming. A feature that was always so clunky and slow. I mean, you basically just sank slowly. Now revamped with a special new animation. An improvement players needed for many years. Number 41. The Aquatic Update, a much-needed revamp for the Plain Sea, adding coral, kelp, turtles, dolphins, and drowned. Well, it can't all be good, I guess. Number 42. Hardcore Mode. Not only could players test their skill on hard mode, but now they have the option to remove lives entirely. A real game changer. Number 43. We spoke about tipped arrows, but the potions, splash potions, and lingering potions themselves are an incredible feature that have allowed for many fun minigame mechanics, as well as great survival moments. Hey, let's give it up for potion brewing. Number 44. The End. This is the more recent addition to the game, but The End is a brand new dimension. And as the name suggests, adds an actual ending to the game. There's no way I was missing this update off the list. Number 45. Elytras. Since boats and minecarts, players have never really had another mode of transport. That was until the Elytra came along. Have you played a game of Elytra Racing minigame yet? Let us know your favorite moment from using one of these precious items. We'd love to hear your stories. Number 46. Honey. Another newer update, and a big one. Expanding parkour possibilities with its sticky, damage-reducing surfaces and allowing for awesome new redstone builds. Number 47. While beds being added did annoy people originally, they've grown to love them or ignore them. Since phantoms got added, however, you can only avoid those sweet dreams for a short while. Number 48. The Illagers. A stark contrast to the villagers we know and love. With their raids and pillages, it became more important than ever to protect and level up your locals. Number 49. The Wither. The ultimate end boss and final challenge for your world. Allowing you to obtain a nether star, craft a beacon, and become an almighty player. Number 50. The Nether Update. Last, but not least, we may as well cover the next big update coming to Minecraft, considering it's going to be a game changer with new blocks, respawn anchors, pigling bartering, and more. So much more.